Well, I'll put the title of this video as bashing the FAO FY03H until it breaks, because it does break. I know what you're thinking, a cheap Chinese buggy rich, of course it's gonna break. I throw so much stick at this thing, it is untrue. And it breaks off camera at the last minute when I'm doing my very last jump on the way back to the car and I've turned the camera off. I have to say, some of these smaller buggies let themselves down and they're not as good as they claim to be. Now this doesn't go as fast as they state on the pack, doesn't it? That's sort of 43 miles an hour, more like 25 miles an hour on this 3S pack. However, it accelerates like an absolute rocket it jumps very, very well indeed. Consider it's got friction shocks on it in a minute. Doesn't handle too badly, although I've actually ordered some oil-filled ones for this because it has impressed me so much so far. This body is metal, and as I say, you might be thinking, cheap, cheerful, plastic rich, it's gonna break very, very easily. So with that in mind, I thought, shall I just take it out and test it on some grass and be nice to it? Not a bit of it. I never go easy on any of these things just to make them all look good. But in fact, just the opposite. I tend to push them as hard as I can. And today, it's no different. Now, I'm going to throw a few different surfaces at it. We're going to go on grass, hard packed gravel, and some rocks. Wait till we get onto the rocks. Also, going to throw a few jumps in because this thing jumps way better than I thought. Anyway, watch the runtime video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below the video. And I'll show you that breakage at the end of the video. Just before we head down the quarry, I would say these batteries, which are about $14 from Banggood, 1500 milliamp, 3S, 40C rating. They're lasting between 23 and 24 minutes in this car, which is a lot of bang for your buck. Speaking of which, this thing is just $125, which I was slightly skeptical on the price point. But when you see how I drove it in this video, it's beginning to look like a bit of a bargain. Well, in today's video, what have we got? I'm going to throw as many different types of terrain at it as possible. I've certainly got grass, loose gravel, and quite a few rocks, and we're going to throw in a few jumps along the way. Speaking of which... Stick it. Stick it. I would say I practiced that a lot off camera, but that was the very first time I hit it. Let's see if we can do that again. Probably not. Stick it. Now, it has got a, a, a specific crawl mode on it and I'll test it out another day, but today, I'm just gonna throw it around a bit. Oh, it likes that loose dirt. That handles the bumps without too much weight at all, actually. Jumping with style, Richie. Now, I have to say, I do not think it would jump as well as it does. Finally get it right. Oh, wheels up again. Well, I have to say, so far, other than that traction roll, it's proven very, very good indeed. Huh? I had shot a completely different introduction to this thing. But I have to say, after filming this and having run the first battery pack for a staggering 23 minutes, this thing has me severely impressed because I bought it to some fairly serious terrain to play in today. And at the minute, the thing is proving an absolute blast and it's beating a lot of my bigger stuff on the same terrain. Got it on the surface of the moon up here. Now, you'll be a little more careful on there because this is definitely the kind of terrain that could bust it. But, so far, I am quite impressed with it, I have to say. That like rock bouncing ability, pretty good. And, Give it the full beans on 3S. Because I've got some punch. Ooh. Hello, birdies. <laughs> I'll tell you, I've taken bigger, more expensive stuff that has not done that well. And got stuck a lot more easily on here. Considering it's friction shocks, it is not getting kicked around too badly at all. Now, is that bridge too far, Richie? I've got to try it, haven't I? Now, this is where you could do with that drag brake function. Working on it. Look at that, that's not bad at all. So it turns upside down down there, and I have to walk all the way down the downhill to get there. It gets stuck. That's, look at that. That's like six inch boulders down there. Oh, you have to be just so badly wanted to swear there. 
Unless that slope from the side, so hopefully you can see how steep it is. Just remember guys, if you like what you see today, don't forget to subscribe. Well that is where we're standing up there, so you can see, coming up on 45 degrees. Well, I had quite a few attempts to uh, get the FY03 up this hill uh, from the bottom, but fast or slow, I still couldn't quite manage to make it, although I did get close a, very, a couple of times. Hopefully, the new oil fill shocks that are on order uh, should help the suspension enable me to get up to the top, so we will attempt this one again. So it needs more weight, it might be up the front, on the front, over the front axle, but we shall see. I mean, it's not doing badly. But uh, it is good, the bigger rocks are now kicking it around a bit much, where I think that new shocks, as opposed to the friction ones, would definitely help. So, big steep slopes, huge rocks, not doing quite so well, but they're smaller stuff. So it would trouble a lot of cars, doesn't seem to trouble this thing at all. As I like mini rock bouncer, I would say it's pretty good. Well, I have to say, for a super cheap buggy, It does not do climbing badly at all. Is this the best $125 rock racer there is out there? Quite possibly, yes, because it's severely impressed me today. Keep watching to see why. As I say today, we're going to throw quite a few different bits of uh, terrain at it. Let's see how we get on. Sometimes successful, sometimes not. Yay. And I have to say, that metal body, it's proved, well, the whole thing's proving pretty tough. It's good, it just thunders up some of these hills. And, I seem to be able to put up with a decent whack. It's like rock bounces go, it's not bad. It's maybe a little bit steep for it, but it's got up there in the end. See, not the like had crawlers that struggle up that sort of stuff. It's very, to use that Richie phrase, chuckable indeed. And it's got some punch with it on that 3S. That first battery, I have to say, I was timing it. And that lasted about 23 minutes, which is quite staggering given the fact that it ended pretty much under full power. Oh, that was an like an evil can evil moment. replicate that twice if I tried it a million times. Or that. Come on. Evil can evil battle jump. Well, I have to say, I am up there with the officially impressed at the minute. Tell me you caught that on film, Richie. Tell me that was on film. And in slow motion, breaking it down, it has unbelievably done a full backflip and landed wheels up. Absolutely outstanding. 125 bucks, loving it. Richie wants to scream. Now, it's got steering dual wet in it because I found the steering was quite fearsome. When I first took it out, steering. Almost a little bit too much steering on it. Now it does about 25 miles an hour, flat out on 3S. Decent turn of acceleration now. Oh, land the right way up. So it should get up this slope without any problem whatsoever, he says. It's just keeping the throttle on really low and then we immediately get stuck and we need to give it all gas. So a little bit of power needed. But it's got no lot way there. Some loose dirt because it needs that, that back end to swing around a bit, otherwise it'll traction roll. Like this is not an ideal car for blacktop. It definitely needs those shocks upgrading. Quick feels quite it's forward drive, but it's quite a rearward blast, I would say on there, which is no bad thing in stopping it traction rolling actually. When you are you only referring to the car traction rolling. With the solid rear axle. What happens is, if this tyre digs in, the car in the corner will want to turn over like that. Whereas the independent, if it had independent suspension on that, this tyre would come up, so the back down would sit in, and it would curve around more into the corner. I hope that explains what traction roll is. Now, on the grass, almost wanting a wheelie, it's got enough traction on there. But it has just done a wheelie just now. Typically, there we go. Okay.
Anybody guess what I broke on the car? Got all four wheels on. All looks to be nice and intact. But the rear drive shaft has snapped in two. It is just a plastic one, like it is on a lot of these cars. What happened in the most stupid of incidents, took it over a jump and it came down on a small rock which just happened to drive straight between the chassis and snapped the drive shaft in two. Just one of those fluke things, you could have done the same jump a million times and not hit the same rock and bust it like that. Metal drive shaft, which I ordered from Amazon, which actually arrived on next day delivery for under nine bucks. So that is going straight on this car, very easy repair. So anybody that thinks these are cheap chains and they're not hobby grade, you can get all the parts for these on Amazon and you can get upgraded metal parts for them on Amazon like this one as well. Anyway, hope you like this video. Why do I do these? I recognise that everyone hasn't got five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars for an RC car. We all have to start somewhere and these smaller Chinese cars are getting better and better and sooner or later they're going to come out with a bigger one which is going to have the big boys worried. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.